welcome to Psychic Medium Tony Green. I am Psychic Medium Tony Green. Yes. Okay, so we are going to get going right away with the show. Um, and I want to start by saying I will be taking callers. If you would like to call in, the call in number is 845-277-9131. You can call in and ask questions about life, love, career, finances, any any aspect of your life at all, and you, or or you can ask about loved ones on the other side. If you would like to connect with a loved one on the other side, I just need their first name and their relationship to you. And then um, if you have a specific question, that question, otherwise connecting with them and, and giving you a message from them. If you're joining us live on YouTube, I will be answering questions in the chat for everybody in the chat also. All right, there we go. I think that's everything. I'll never reach out to you on social media. If somebody reaches out to you on social media, um, give them a test question. Ask them, do I do text messages? The answer is always no. <laughs> Email messages, bigger no. <laughs> I don't want to know anybody to know how how sloppy my emails and um, how dyslexic I am. So yeah, solid no on those. Solid no. Um, uh, let's see. Songs of the day. Songs. Songs. Okay, the songs are. This could be a song from someone on the other side to you. From a song you loved, they loved, you listened to together. Um, the first song coming through, I, I can't even finish saying this. That's it's an older song. It, it I think it's a country song. It goes, you are always on my mind. I'm not singing this on beat or in tune. We are aware. You are always on my mind. But if you know, you know. If you know that song, you're just going to go, yeah, I know that song. That's that's my song. That's my message. Um the song could also answer a question. See, that person didn't even let me finish explaining the whole song thing and had to come through and be like, um, somebody up there um, is is either acknowledging that they are always on your, your mind or you are still always on their mind. They are always with you. The next song that I'm hearing is, <laughs> I think I've heard this one before. I don't even know. It's going through again. Come, 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 chameleon. You come and go. You come and go. Apparently, I can't dance to that song either. I don't think anybody can. Um, that song is next. And then um, anything Michael Jackson. Somebody up there just said, anything Michael Jackson, they're going to know it's me. Anything Michael ja Jackson. And then I hear, do, do. And do, and do. I think that's Billy Jean. Billy Jean is not my love. Yeah, do. I think so. Yeah, and then Thriller. All right. Anything Michael Jackson, and then the next song. Um, ah, this one is is like bittersweet. It makes me so happy, but I know it was for a child, so I'm really sad. Um, Twinkle, Twinkle, Little Star, which to me is a song because we wouldn't just say it, we would sing it. Um, so yeah, that song is bittersweet. It is. Oh, okay. And then the next song, um, it's a, I think it's Frank Sinatra. Um, Something about the moon. The song has something about the, maybe it is Frank Sinatra. Um, oh God, this is such, this is such an old song. Um, I'm going to try to remember to come back to this song because I can't even get the words to it. And then the way, the way you look tonight. And that's, it's not a newer song. It's an older song, The Way You Look Tonight. A really older song, they're saying. 
Um, okay. And then the names, these could be people on the other side. It could be their name or they could be saying your name. So however that works is um, how that's going to work. Uh, if it's your name, then somebody from the other side is saying they love you and hello from heaven. If it's their name, again, pretty much the same message. So the first name that I'm getting is John, Jonathan, or Jay. Like maybe they, John, Jonathan, maybe somebody, some some people just use the first initial J. And then again, I'm going to say J could be a completely different name because because they're all bombarding me with it. It's just like, there's a full house. There is a straight up full house here today. And they are not being polite. They are like coming in over each other. Yes, fly me to the moon. Frank Sinatra. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Fly me to. Yes, and I cannot dance to that either. So there. Um so uh thank you jay okay um and th then okay so mary there's a mary and then there's elizabeth <sighs> this is a weird chachi i know that's from like that movie uh that that tv like uh chachi wasn't was that um was that a happy days or something like that? Well, somebody else's name, Chachi, apparently. Chachi. Or a nickname. It could be a, 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 nick, a nickname also. And then the next thing, the next name that I'm hearing. I don't know if I'm going to be able to say that name. M-A-R-I-N-G-E-L-O. M, yeah, I'm not going to respell it. That's it. That's what I'm seeing. So if that's your name, oh, they did a lot to get that through for you. <laughs> if that's their name or your name, they did a lot to get that through for you. And then the next, I can't say it. Even now that I've spelled it, I'd have to write it out and try to say it. Marangelo, Marangelo. Hello, Mary. I don't know. I'm trying. I, I need to stop. I need to move on to more names. The next name that I'm hearing is um, there's a Brian, there's a Chris or Christopher, there's a Laura. And with Laura, I hear, come, 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 <laughs> come, and go. Um, um, And then there is, okay, okay, I'll focus. Heather, there's a Heather, for Heather, from Heather, for Heather, for, from Heather. And then there's, um, they're so, you would not believe the number of names that are, get, they're all saying them at once and I can't even get through to them right now. Oh my goodness. I'm going to ask them to slow down. There's a Joseph. And I'm only taking one more. So please, we have to get out with the show. We could do this all day. I could just be telling you names all day. Okay. Okay, thank you for reminding me. So last night while I was mad, yes, this is what happens to me in bed. Yep, it's not what you think. Um, somebody was showing me something, and it's it's a little sad. So this might be sensitive for some people. Someone who died in a fire wants you to know that they are okay. They um. So just whoever that's for, someone who died in a fire wants you to know that they are okay. They're, they're home. And then I'm hearing the song Sweet Home Alabama, which it doesn't have to mean they were from Alabama. It just means they're home. Okay. Oh. Okay. I want to say hi to everybody joining me on um YouTube. So we have Terry, we have Jay Francis, K's K's J, KSJ, Margaret, welcome to the show. KSJ, welcome to the show. Jay Francis, 
Um, Eric Clapton, beautiful tonight. Oh, thank you. Jay, Jay Francis is coming in with all the titles to all the songs. Thank you. Oh, Jessica. Hey, Jessica. Um, and Heather. Heather, how are you? I want to make sure Amy is here. I want to make sure Rebecca. Hey, Rebecca. Um, Terry asked me a question prior to the show. And when when was a man going to be coming in for a really I'm assuming for a long-term relationship. And I, I hear June. I'm hoping it's this June and not next June. I do feel like several people are going to be coming in, but I also feel like you need to be out and about every single chance you get because you are going to meet this person organically in an outside setting where there are several people. And you just have to have your, um, not like those gawker eyes, on people, but be looking around and and open to conversation with people. If you're, Terry, if you're stuck in a conversation with someone you don't want to be, like you're not really interested in, move on because that stuck conversation uh, might be preventing the, the right one from walking up to you. So this happens. And it's it's part of the reason I really don't like just going to the bar bar. It's part of the reason. Sometimes just because somebody sees you and it's a bar, and I don't want to sound like a biatch when I say this, but just because somebody is in a public place, it doesn't mean you can entrap them and like hold them hostage to conversation. Okay, okay, okay. So sometimes someone will walk up to you and maybe they've had one or 20 too many and they just start talking to you and they're not looking at your body language or catching your social cues that you're not even looking at them. Now you have your back turned to them, but you're trapped in a seat and cannot get away from this person. Just excuse yourself, go to the bathroom and land someplace else. Just land someplace completely different. Um, that does happen a lot to people. Mm, sometimes when people drink, they don't they don't realize that, you know, they're being uninvited and awkward. I don't know what the appropriate words are for that. <laughs> I really don't, but. <laughs> I just said it. I just said it. There it is. Um, and all my girlies and some guys know exactly what I'm talking about. Put a hands up if you do. Um, and if you're if you're kind of a nice person, you don't want to be rude. And if somebody's had too much to drink, you don't want to offend them because you don't know how they react when they've been drinking. So one of the things I'm going to say is just excuse yourself. Walk away for a moment. And then, you know, don't get trapped in conversation, Terry, because I feel like this person is going to, you're going to meet this person in a public place. There's going to be a lot of people be like that. So be, be like walking around saying hi to other people or allowing people, several different people to come in. I feel like it's going to be mid June. Um, and hopefully again, hopefully this is this year. Okay, I'm hoping that for you. Hey, Patrick. Uh, hey, Heather. Heather wants to know what's her song um, for the date. And her song for the date is, it's, it's um, I Want to Fly. Uh, fly. It's Lenny Krav Kravitz. Um, I think that's Lenny Kravitz. I Want to Fly Away. It, but it doesn't sound anything like that. But if I sing it, it will still not sound anything like this song. <laughs> ah, I can hear the words, like vaguely hear the words in my head. <laughs> oh, um, I think you know what I'm talking about, Heather. I, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. Um... Oh, thank you for watching me while you're at volleyball camp with your daughter. Thank you, Patrick. Yes, everybody listen to Patrick and do that. Help the show out if you can. Okay, if you want to join the show live every Monday and every Wednesday, I go on noon 
noon um, Central Time. You can join on YouTube. You can call in 845-277-9131. And I will take your calls. I will answer your questions. And here we go. If you have a question, please put it in the comments. And I, if you're on YouTube, and I will try to get to that question. Right now, I'm going to go to the first caller, who is 724724. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Shay. I'm calling from Pennsylvania. I actually called Monday. I got yes. in at the very end of the show when you told me to make sure I call back on Wednesday. Okay. So here I am. Okay, Shay, what was your question that you had on Monday? Did that resolve and do you have a new question? Or do you have a new question? No, it's the same. Like I said, I got in with like 55 seconds left. Okay. I had called with um, to see um, what you could pick up on my romantic friend, if at all anything. And okay, so I'm sorry, you guys, when I channel, as soon as the conversation ends, the information is gone. So I'm going to try to pick, I don't want to repeat what I said. Is this somebody who is already mm -hmm. a friend of yours? Or somebody coming no, in? No, there's nobody, there's nobody okay, somebody. in my life. Okay, so somebody coming in. Okay, give me a second, Shay. Okay, Shay, um, first and foremost, um, there's a, someone here from the other side for you. Um, it's an older okay, woman. Great. It's an older woman who was, who, um, became thinner as she became older. So I'm guessing this is grandmom on either side. It could be mom, but I think I, it feels more like a grandmom because she's like the way it works in my vision. Sometimes grandma steps right up and no matter who else is over there, grandma's in my face, but she stepped back a little bit. So I think it's second or third generation grandma. But anyway, she's up there and she's coming through. And the first thing she she wants to say, and as she, okay, I think I said this already, but she, as she aged, she may have lost some muscle mass and some weight. You know, some people, as they get to a certain point, they, they start to um, shrink a little bit. I feel like she did. But then there's another one yeah. here. Another, yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, love. I believe that's my father's mother. Go ahead. Okay. And then there's another one here who was a little bit fuller. Now, she seems like she passed a little younger. This could be auntie, mom. This could be, this person seems like they, I'm seeing them younger than I'm seeing your grandmother. Now, the person I'm seeing younger is like right here. And if you're not watching me behind my right shoulder. And this person was a little bit um mm -hmm fuller or more robust and had a more um, vocal, like was more uh, I, l louder or like would be not talked loud, but would speak their mind very freely and be very, say what they thought without thinking twice. Whom And again, it could be, uh, it, they could have passed I, I'm going to tell everybody, I'm just going to interrupt this. Let, we're going to interrupt this uh, channeling for a message. Um, <laughs> we're going to interrupt the message for a message. When people go to the other side, they don't, they may show up looking that how they looked when they passed to identify for you. Now, I'm also going to say that's not how they look at the other side. They look, they always show up at the best age that they were like my mom doesn't show up at 74 unless she's in my dreams when i see my mama mm -hmm. in my living room she shows up like she was like at 35 to 40. so that's that's the age i see her that's when i remember her being her strongest and her really in her element okay now the person behind me seems like she would be a little younger. Okay, we we've covered that. Let's let's get on with the message. They both want to say to you, they're not letting. <laughs> I 
it's so funny because if you're if you're watching me like the, the fist is pounding and they're like we're not yeah, letting on the second lady but the first lady is definitely my um father's mother i believe that is what my baba okay and the second lady may be a grandmother also but she's just presenting as younger but she may have passed older so please don't let um don't let that my saying aunt or mom or whatever she could still be a grandmother or she could be your one of your grandmother's sisters or something like that but here's the message that's really important and i know they're saying you're going to realize who the second woman is and they're going in a minute i'm going to eat a so they're saying it, you're going to shortly maybe after the show you're going to realize who the second woman is okay. um Okay. And, and then they're saying heart attack. So I don't know if, if that's it, but I, I want to get away from the descriptors and I want to get into the message. So they're like pounding. Yeah. One of them is pounding their hand. And I feel like it would be this, this other, not the, not the grandma, because she just like spoke with a, she spoke with a, a, a okay. The, the message is we're not letting another player shyster game mongering mofro into your life so if it takes a minute for somebody to come in let that minute breathe mm -hmm. just breathe through that minute because what they are doing right now is they are making sure you are prepared and you are in the right place for this person coming through and that this person is the right person because there comes a point where it's just time to be done with dumb. It's time to be, Jesus, oh, it's time to be done with, it's just time to move on to like a mature relationship where both people are, are really ready for that commitment. Um, and there are no games being played. And um, you're going to get, you're going to have someone come in possibly as soon as tomorrow or within the week. And it's not the, I feel like it's not the first person coming through. I feel like you're the person that's going to come through. You're going to know. It's the right person by the tone in their voice. They're going to be more like your, I want to say more like your grandmother, where they're just very, you don't catch any vibe off of them that they are anything and serious and honest they're gonna say some oh okay thank you thank you thank you grandma they're going to say something to you that would have come out of your grandmother's mouth literally like a statement she used to say or a way she used to say something and that's gonna be how you can know this is the person they're going to not want to, uh, they're just past all of the, the BS, okay? They're just past all of the BS and they're ready for something a little bit more uh, serious, oh, very serious. They're ready for something very serious and they're mature. That's the word they're they're trying to get through my head. Um, mature. They're a mature person. Um, and they don't bring chaos or games or any of that. You're going to know how they feel because they're going to speak their truth. And they're going to, and it doesn't have to be that, oh my God, I'm so in love with you. Because sometimes that's not even real. But they're going to be... Like yeah. when they say something, it's going to be so genuine and you're going to know it. But the way you're going to know for sure is something that comes out of their mouth 
is going to either be something that your grandmother would say or something how she would say it. It's good. You're, you're going to just, you're going to go just do like almost a double take of, of, oh my gosh, that's, that sounded just like my grandma or that's something my grandma would, it's however that comes out. That's how you're going to know. Oh, whew. okay. <laughs> okay. I think I got, and they love you and they're watching and the people who come in before this person who are not it, they're going to make sure there's some kind mm -hmm. of chaos or the person that comes, they're going to make sure they're going to, they're going to put a flag on the play right away so that you are and walk away and that you're strong enough to walk away. Don't, here's the thing. We're not 16 and I'm, I'm going to say this for you and every other person listening. When we see that thing, even if it's a small thing, and we think, oh, well, maybe that's mm -hmm. not that big of a deal. Maybe that's not this. Maybe that's not that. No, it is. It is. And for all us girlies out here who think we can change a man and heal him and just if we just love them enough, do you not think their own mama didn't think that? Do you not think the last girl, two girls, okay. Three, four, five girls they dated felt that. Do you not think every person that they have dogged down didn't think, well, he might change? The only thing that changed was the girly who became uh -huh. sad and hurt and conflicted and tried to figure out. I made so good to him. Why is he so bad to me? Because he's a stray dog and he needs to go to the pound. Right. He just needs to be pounded. Right. Okay. You are not a master. You are not the dog whisperer. You are not going to change any of these dogs in the street at this point. Let them be for the streets with the girlies for the streets. Let them all have each other. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And you find somebody that wants to be in a, a domesticated little puppy. OK, there are men out there that are such good men. Oh, my God. I know there are tons of good. I could name like five good men right now. Really good men that want a legit, serious relationship. Easy, easy, breezy, no games, no nothing. I could name five easy peasy. And when you're in that place where you are there, too, they should come in, but you might get a test first. Now I'm saying as soon, Shay, as soon as you see a flag, as soon as you even have to think about making an excuse or justification, kick them to the curb and keep driving. Don't worry. Another car will come along and pick them up quickly. They won't be straggling out there in the sun very long. Okay. And I'm going to say this. Sometimes we meet somebody and we really like somebody, but we don't like certain aspects of them. And we don't like certain aspects of the relationship. Let it go. Because there is, that's a sign that this is not your person. And that there is a person out there that there will, you will meet someone that is a good person that wants the same things you do. And I'm also going to say this, don't hold on to this person until you get this person, because a good person won't interrupt something you have going on. They won't be that third party mm -hmm. because they're a respectful person with character. And they're not going to come in and say, right. I know you're with a man, but I'm going to double you down. Who, who, who wants, who wants to share a bun? Nobody wants to share a bun. Nobody wants to share a hot dog. Not no good uh, person does not. No good, <laughs> solid person with character and self-respect is going to be sharing hot dogs and buns. I'm just saying. I'm just saying what I'm saying. <laughs> so <laughs> if you're with somebody and you know it's not them, just cut it now, move on, and let that other person come in. Okay? Because the good, a good man or woman with character and respect isn't going to try to take you from somebody and is not going to be okay being that spare wheel. Okay. That's it. That's all I have for you, Shay. Okay. <laughs> I hope this is helpful, love. 
Okay. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. Okay. You as well. Thank you. Okay. In a second, I'm going to go to the second caller who is 631. Right now, I'm going to look uh, at some of the things. Uh, Ah, uh, uh, yeah, that's it. I want to get away. I want to fly away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the Lenny Kravitz song for you, um, Heather. Um, KSJ, when will, when will I be loved? As in always single, there's a tune and lyric for everything. Okay, uh, why was I referred here? Because Tony uses songs. <laughs> Thanks, KS. Okay, uh, yes. Every, <laughs> spirit comes through strong in song for me. Somebody actually complained about that because I can't sing. And I, I'm very, listen, I know I can't sing. I know my voice, my tune, my beats. They, they are so off, but... Uh, that's the one spot I can say I have a ton of humility because I, if the spirit tells me to do it, I am doing it. And I am, no matter how bad I know it sounds, I'll do it for spirit because I know the person who's intended to get it will know it. So I'm going to go to 631, 631. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, uh, my name is Rose. I'm calling from uh, Long Island. Hey, Rose, how can I help you today? I was just wondering if um, if I have any message from a loved one. Um, oh, I guess I'll do that. Okay, that. please pick at least that. <laughs> pick a loved one so that I can focus in on one person to start with. I just need the name and the relationship, first oh, okay. name and relationship. All right, uh, all right. Um, Francis, and that's my mother. Okay. Okay, instantly, <laughs> instantly, she she is right here. Uh, she was. If I'm, I, please let me know. I have the right energy. It's it, it, there. There, she's not alone. First of all, she wants you to know I'm. I'm not alone. She was a bit feisty, and she had this thing about her. I feel like she used her hand to talk a lot. I feel like if this is her, I feel like. Oh yeah. It, she and I do feel like she I don't know because I see people like this big if you're if you're not watching it's like I think that's an inch I don't know maybe in two inches I don't know what it's it's like this big I see people very small but it seems like she might have been she wasn't really tall she might have been you know like normal size for like a whatever anyway her first message for you is yeah. um she is saying that, uh, okay. Francis, she probably talks a lot. Though. Yeah, there's a lot coming. There's a lot coming through, and I'm trying to get it into like a, 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 a legible message because it's just all little words or statements that are coming through. Sorry. There's a guy with her who is an older, I feel like it was her father probably. Um, and then there are other people behind her. Um, the, and when I say her father, it could have been her, her husband or your dad. I don't know. It's just a, a male that's with her that had a bigger stature, a bigger, like a more solid build than her very solid build. Um, okay. So the first thing I'm hearing is Scorpio. I don't know why I'm hearing Scorpio, but I'm going to say Scorpio. That could have been somebody's sign, your sign, their sign. I don't know. Scorpio is maybe the man who is with her. I don't know. I just hear Scorpio. And then the next thing that she wants to okay. tell you is um, it's a song. It's like moving on. Uh, something about you have to keep moving on. You have to keep going. You have to keep pushing forward. You you have to keep um, uh don't slow down or don't stop. You just have to keep moving forward. Um, and don't let anything, um, okay. ain't, ain't gonna let anything slow me down. 
oh no, I got to keep up, is the second song coming through. So just keep moving, keep going. Don't, don't pause. Don't even think I need a break. Right now is not the time to take a break. Right now is the time to just keep pushing because it is going to pay off. You are going to get your dividends. You are going to see those rewards. So whatever you do, don't hold back and don't don't feel like it's not going any place because it's going it's going every place is the message that I'm getting. And I do feel like you are going to need to, you know, breathe, take that moment to breathe, but don't don't give up and don't give in. And that's the message that she has oh, for okay. you. I hope that makes sense, love. Yeah, yeah, it does very much. Um, okay, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Good time. Excellent, excellent. Thank, thank you so much for calling in. I am so grateful I was able to help you. Um, okay. I hope that uh, you know, call back yeah. anytime, and we connect, and we can connect with other people, or you can ask questions. Okay, love. Okay, thank you. You, it. you are welcome. If you'd like to call in and ask a question, the call in number is 845-277-9131. Um, if, you if you're joining us on YouTube and you have a question, please, by all means, put it um, into the chat and I will try to get to it. And if you would like a private session, yes, I do offer those. Um, you can go to my website. All the information is there. It's T-O-N-I-G dot info, Tony G dot info. And there is a link in the, um, in the bio below. Okay. Uh, I am going to go to 828. 828, what's your name and where are you calling from? Is that me? Yes, it is. Yes. It's you. Hello. How are you? Okay. I, I haven't done this in a long time. It's okay. Uh, I'm calling right now from uh, Western Massachusetts. Okay. And how can I help you, love? Well, this quote is... Uh, love, your phone... Wait. Uh, your phone I is... I want to know about... You know, what your phone you know, is I don't know how you work, but my personal question is about and if there's any messages anyone has for me from other you know, song affiliations. <laughs> okay, so first and foremost, if you have me on a speaker phone of any kind, please take me off because you are you're breaking up horribly. You're and it's you're very gargled and it's very difficult to understand what you're saying. And I want to make sure that I'm understanding your question or what you're wanting today. And if you're asking to connect with a loved one, I just need their first name and their relationship to you, and I'll do my best to help you. So if you could just please um, do that, that would be amazing. How can I help you, love? I don't know. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that is a little better. I have a lot of problems with my phone, so there's a lot of interference. I'm basically wondering if there's a message from someone, but I'm trying to just get some clarification on my keys. I pretty much know that it's part of a non-random harassment situation. I know who is around. I'm just wondering about strategy or just anything that I might uh, do to affect the loss of my car keys it's sort of been a whack a mole situation every day there's something new i'm seriously harassed here but you know the keys were not random i know that because i've had three direct threats so i'm just wondering about these keys or if you get something else that you are guided to tell me or anything or song i welcome that you are the light Oh, gosh, thank you. Okay, so the first thing I need to say to you, I'm going to tell you what I'm hearing. I am not the boss of you. If what I'm hearing and say to you resonates, then and you've been feeling this yourself, then you know, you're on the right track. The first thing I it's just one word that I'm hearing to start off with, and it's move. Now, I know moving is not always the easiest thing. If financially, emotionally, moving can be very difficult for people. 
Um, I've actually been trying to move since 2019, since a week within I got here. Okay, so I'm going to do a clearing. I'm You're going correct. to do a couple clearings for you, love, just to for you, anybody listening, anybody re watching. For the, we're going to just go into a little bit of clearings here. The first one is anything stopping or blocking us from relocating to a safe, healthy area has been cleared. I get a no. Anything stopping or blocking us from being able to move or relocate has been healed and cleared. I get a no. Let's heal, clear, release all of this. And I feel that pulling like right out of my neck and shoulder area, wherever you feel it is. Okay. The next one is any and all harassment from anybody else has been stopped, blocked, cleared, released. I get a no. Let's heal, clear, release that. Anyone harassing us has been removed from our existence. I get a no. I'm going to tell you, whomever, whatever this is, it is extremely toxic because, and it, I, I can't say that on air. It's just extremely toxic. And this person is, or whomever, whatever this is, it's just a very toxic element. And so we're going to ask that all that caused this, kept this, anything that is attached, any attachments or core, everything just be pulled out and taken away. And um, oh, holy guaca, freaking salsa moly. Whew. Yeah, they're based above me, apartment five. They're listening now. Awesome. Tapping endlessly to create a neurochemical response. Anchoring um, it in. The best thing. We affirm that everything is removed as we have two or more gathered here. I'm going to tell you the, the, own, the best the best thing for you to do is move. And sometimes in a rental situation, we cannot change our locks. So the best thing for you to do is move. The, the best thing is to just move and um, get a, P get, this is the exact message I'm getting for you. Prior to moving, get a PO box and forward all of your mail to a PO box. Then move. And only yes, leave I your do. P.O. box as a forwarding address so no one can find you once you do move. The next thing that I'm getting for you is that you need to do this sooner rather than later. And I know it might be difficult, but even if you have to relocate a little further away, meaning another city and or whatever, wherever that is, that is going to be the best resolution and solution. For I am you. open to anywhere that I can get to without a car that was also disabled. Yes, I am so strongly knowing that since for so long. Okay. But now we have a bunch of listeners on the air to smooth it along. Now, I'm going to say to you, there are so many organizations even some churches, not all churches, but organizations that help the disabled to find housing and to relocate to a new home. You have to look in your area to find organizations yeah. that and will do that. Just so you know, I, I'm the best at that. And I've been told that unless I have a criminal record, there's no help in this state. It's, and also, basically, they pathologize the victim, whether it's fragrance allergy or direct derangement and unless you are affected by a personal partner you're not eligible for safe passages through any domestic violence okay no but one cares that's why i'm here because we are more powerful than all that okay so here's what i'm hearing love you don't have to go to an organization and say i need to move because of a b and c you can just say this is not the right place for me and I need a new place. Can you please help me find a new place? And I find that sometimes when you go to certain churches, they will post on their boards if they have availability, if they have places available and stuff. Um, and I feel like that. Yeah, unfortunately, there's like 900 people homeless around here. But I do know if I was on drugs and alcohol, there'd be a faster. Yeah, I, I get it. I really do. 
I, I get it. I can't help somebody who comes up with something against everything I say. I can't help you if every time I say something, you're going to tell me a reason why that's not going to work for you. Then I just can't help you because you're not even letting me finish a sentence before you tell me why that's not going to work. So maybe what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep you on mute. Okay. So you can listen. And what I'm saying to you is very important. Don't tell people why you need to move. Just find people who can help you move. Go to organizations and or churches and look at the bulletin boards and see who has something available. Now, if you start telling them people are out to get you, even if people are out to get you, they're just going to think you're crazy and they don't want that problem. Nobody wants someone who is coming in with this issue. OK, so don't tell them about that. If you're moving, you're leaving that so far behind that it doesn't matter. It's completely cut off and you're not taking that energy with you. It'll no longer be an issue. You just need to start thinking about the place you want to be and what you want that energy to be in. Now, if you're and I said this and please Listen with your ears and not with your brain because your brain is going to respond. I need you to listen with your ears. If you're in an area where there is no housing and there are homeless people and nobody's going to help you, I said you might have to move further out, meaning not in your neighborhood, not in your city, maybe even not in your state. And yes, you don't have a vehicle, but if you meet with the right people, if you get in the right energy and you start looking for the solutions without bringing the problem with you, the right people will appear. They may even volunteer to help you move and uh, your, your things and to a new location. You can't solve your problem with your problem. You, you just, you can't love. I'm sorry, you can't solve your problem with your problem. If you're telling everybody about your problem, it's accentuating your problem. Only talk about the solution. I need to be in a new location. A new location is coming to me now. And I'm not saying your problem isn't real, but I am going to say this. If you go for a job interview and all you do is complain about your past boss and what an SOB he was, the new boss is not going to hire you. No. So when you look at a place, don't tell them about all the problems that you're having here because they might think, is that true? Were they the problem or is she a complainer? So you go in and you say, you know what? This just isn't the right space for me. I need to move into a new space for whatever reason and work from that point of view. And I hope that you find something and that the clearings help you and they get you where you need to be. And I, I don't know how else um, that can, can, can work for you. Okay. I'm, I hope that it does. Okay. I'm going to go directly to the next caller. 831. 831. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Karen. I'm calling from uh, where I am now is Florida. Okay, and good. Yeah. Tony, um, uh, I was wondering if you could contact my brother, Mark, who's on the other side. And I'm, I'm wondering how he died. Okay, Mark was, the, the energy I instantly feel is very strong. Like he was a very, his energy like was very, at least at one point, very strong. Is that accurate? Like I feel like when I'm tapping into- I'm not his, sure. You don't know if your brother was a strong was person just, or not? No, I was estranged from him for many years. Okay. But I know that he died and I'm just wondering if you can tell me how he died. Well, okay. Um, I'm hearing accident. And I, I'm, uh, I, here's what I'm going to say. 
Um, sometimes when we want to connect with someone on the other side, they're on, they're not going to give us all the information that we want for whatever reason. And that's up to them. And that's not up to me to break that barrier. Um, I am going to say in this particular case, the only thing I'm hearing is accident. And I hope that brings you peace. Okay. Thank, thank you very much. Thank you. You are so, so welcome. Oh, we're going to go to 330. 330, what's your name and where are you calling from? I'm Michelle from Ohio. Hey, Michelle, how can I help you today? So I was wondering if um, you see anything concerning with the recent MRI I just had. Uh, yes. The answer I get is yes. Can I ask what part of the body they did an MRI on? The brain. Yeah, I should have just, I'm sorry. That's what I was hearing. Um, I was hoping I was wrong, though. I was really, really hoping I was wrong. Um, the next question I'm going to ask is, is this going to resolve? Like, do they have something that can resolve, heal, correct this? And I hear yes. So whatever is going on, I hear the word neurological. Um, I'm not, I, I just for the sake of the show, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not giving medical advice, okay? Um, uh -huh. This will be able to be resolved. It might take some time though. I'm also hearing, and again, this is what I'm hearing. Whatever you do is up to you. I'm hearing get your information from the MRI and, and the doctors, but also look at like naturopaths and alternative methods and make them work together if you're comfortable with that. Um, you might find some really good answers from both sides of the fence and working them together might help you resolve this much more quickly or help to put you in the place you want to be much more quickly. Okay, love. Okay. I do feel I'm like glad to hear if you're, this is what I'm going to tell you. If your doctors say this is it and there's only this solution or this is it and this is it forever, they're wrong. That's why they're asking you to step outside okay. of that and look into like a naturopath or a something else. So um, I'm just going to repeat this story because I think it's so worth repeating and it's so important. Um, there was a gentleman, and this was on news. They they interviewed him on the news, okay? And he had cancer, and it had progressed very badly through his whole entire body. And he was stage four. They told him, go home, call hospice, make your final arrangements. Good luck to you, okay? So he goes home, and he's talking to a vet. And the vet gives him a prescription for a dog dewormer. And I always massacre the name of this. And I it's either Fembendenzabal, Benfen something. I don't know. I'm sorry. I can't. But it, it, it was just a dog dewormer. It was just a dewormer that you would normally give your dog. And okay. he started taking it. And all of the cancer cleared from his body. And on top of that, he has been cancer free for like four years. And there is a whole school of people who believe MS, cancer, um, um, you name it, it could be something like that going on in the body. Now, whatever they find, I'm not saying that 
that's it for you. I'm, I'm not saying that at all. I'm just showing an example of here's what they said. And now here's what you have an option to go look at. Um, I feel like if you look at alternatives to whatever the doctor says, you're going to have a lot, a lot more hope and you'll be able to resolve, completely resolve the issue, regardless of what the medical MD says. The, the hospital, I'm going to call it the hospital MD says. Huh, did everybody see that flash of light when I said that? Oh, I love it. Um, I have no lights on and all my shades are closed so that we don't get like bad lighting or mixed lighting. So when you guys see that flash, that is spirit saying doo, doo, or whatever spirit is saying. I'm going to tell you naturopaths, even um, acupuncturists that do herbal stuff, whatever it is that you decide or find or research, um, please be very open, open to it. And I feel like you are going to be very happy because you will have hope and you'll realize this isn't a life sentence. It's something that can be resolved from the body, okay? Okay, because two of the things that I was concerned about, especially, you know, I, I'd like to say that I'm not old, um, at 45 is Parkinson's and um, dementia are the two things that I was concerned about um, because I know that there was stuff found on the MRI. I just am waiting for the call from the doctor. He won't be in until next week. Okay. What I would say to you, okay, so uh, I'm, I'm going to try to not get in trouble here. Um, there are, for every medicine, every prescription out there comes from a, nat a natural component. So they, they look at what nature has done to heal this and they put it in a pharmaceutical to try to emulate it and make money off of it. And they can't use the natural thing because you can't patent what nature has made. They've tried to emulate marijuana and they can't. And that's why they finally broke down and they're doing what they're doing now. But I'm if they could emulate marijuana, that would be the biggest prescription they would be sending to everybody. Now, here's what I'm going to say. No matter what they say, if you're willing to change your mind about it and change your mind about what it means to you or how it will affect you and change your mind about the fact that it's a life sentence, you will find the person or the people that can help you uh, 90 re seconds. resolve this. And they keep using the word, this okay. can be resolved. Okay, so please pay attention to that, okay, love? It can be resolved. I will. C resolved. OK, so make sure you're doing your due diligence okay. and researching all of it, not just what the medical society is putting out, but all of the science. OK, 60 seconds. I've been doing that for like the last couple of years since I've started dealing with this. And um, I'm also a nurse. So I'm very big into understanding the bigger picture and every different component involved. So, yeah, I definitely do my due diligence with research and just trying to learn as much as I can. Excellent. Before making decisions or jumping to conclusions. Um, but I have to say this time I've been pretty scared. Okay. So. I'm really sorry. I have like 10 seconds left on the show. Please, uh, I can't. I just need to I, I need to say to you, thank you for calling in. And I'm sorry that I had to uh, do that. Um, don't be afraid because fear Ten seconds. exaggerates ever, will make it worse. Go to faith. Go back to, to faith. Go back to your spirit, your highest self, and listen to that. I want to thank everybody for joining me. Thank you.